Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to explain how the Oxide permission system is working and how to add groups and how to add permissions to set groups. Also add players to that groups. So the very first thing you should do is to give yourself the Oxide.reload permission which will give you permission to reload a plugin or Oxide itself. The first thing you should write is Oxide.grant space user and your username or id in my case my steam id i want to use steam id because that's the safest way to do it and then oxide dot reload that means that i'm granting the user with that steam id that permission player stake paying granted permission oxide reload so i can reload a plugin now if i wanted to remove a permission from someone i would type oxide dot revoke user and my steam id or that player's steam id oxide dot reload that means that I can't use the reload command anymore. You can also do this with groups. So say you have a group called admin that needs to have the oxide.reload permission. Because it's admins and admins should have that. So you do oxide.grant space group admin oxide.reload. Now my group admin can use the reload command. Of course, you can do this. You can remove a permission the same way. Oxide dot revoke group admin oxide dot reload. The admin group can no longer use the reload function. However, let's just let's just grant it for now because it's an admin group and I want it to be there. To add a user to a group you have to type oxide dot user group add and the player's name or id i prefer to use ids and then the group name in my case it's admin i've added myself to the group admin of course you could remove someone from a group let's remove myself from admin oxide dot user group space remove and my user id admin so I'm no longer in the admin group. Okay, so say you want to add a new group to your server. Maybe you want some VIP members in there. Maybe you want something else. Let's say a Discord group, for example. In my case, I actually want a Discord group and I don't think I have one. So what I can do is I can do oxide.group add Discord. I've now created a group called Discord. I can also remove the group. If I type something wrong and I added a Discord T group, I could do oxide.group remove Discord T. We now deleted the group with the typo and it's name. Let's add another group. Oxide.group add. Let's add a sub group for subscribers it's just an example this will not stay in my server but anyways oxide group add sub so the group sub is now created i want a title or rank of that group to set the title or rank you type oxide dot group set and the uh, the name of the group and then you do quotation mark, you can type whatever you want. I prefer to have a um, square bracket at the front and the back. Uh, let's just say sub and close it with a square bracket and another quotation mark and hit enter. Now, if a player was given the group sub, that player would have the sub title or rank in its name when talking in chat. Okay, so you would want the group sub to have the same permissions as another group as default per se. To do that, you have to type oxide.group parent and you want the new group sub to parent from default. The group sub gets all the permissions given to the default group. It just inherits them all. You can also see what kind of permissions a user has or what a group has. To do this, you type oxide 
dot show user and let's say me so my user id and this is all my permissions because i have tons of permissions added they won't show it's good in a way because it would have been a lot of lines and it would have filled the screen i prefer going through in some other ways i'll show you in another video and you can also do this with groups say you want to see what permissions the default has default group or sub group that you just created you type oxide dot show group and sub this is all the permissions the group sub has as you can see it says no permission currently granted although it parents or inherits from the default this is all the defaults permission and of course it's a lot of permissions so it won't show say you you want to know if you actually gave a wrong permission to the wrong group so say you add a admin permission to your group let's just say oxide dot grant group sub let's say the group sub got the oxide dot reload permission by mistake and you didn't know to check if you actually gave this permission to a wrong group you can do this one little handy command hopefully you won't need this oxide dot show perm space and that permission you want to know so oxide dot reload in my case admin and sub are the only groups that has this so oh sub has it all right so you find out that sub has this and sub is subscriber script it should not have this permission you should probably remove this so oxide dot revoke group sub oxide dot reload and the group sub no longer has access to oxide dot reload you can also do this with players or users it's just the same commands you can also list all the groups using the command oxide dot show groups so these are all my service ranks some are not in use and some is in use you can also list all the permissions from plugins and oxide in itself so what you want to do is type oxide dot show terms and again it will exceed the limit of lines so it just it, it won't list any more than backpacks here in game at least it will not show a lot maybe in another console but not in game all right that's almost everything however there is one more thing you can do you can add wild cards or you can add permissions using wild cards it's a really dangerous thing to do adding permissions with wild cards because if you use a wild card it will give the user or group with a wildcard the permissions to everything L let's just say an example show you an example so if i type oxide dot grant group admin and then the star the star is a wildcard sign so if i did that the group admin now has access to every single command and i do not want that all right so you can also do this with users in itself say outside dot brand user and my steam id oxide dot star this will grant me all the oxide permissions and the star means everything within that category do that because that's okay to give myself that but you should never ever give anyone else this permission so let's say you gave oxide dot Brand user and myself. Let's say you had a plugin called admin, which is an admin tool on your server. If you would have typed in admin dot star, which means wildcard, it would have given that user or group, if you typed a group, every single command or permission within that plugin. And we don't want that. 
that can ruin everything. I think that is everything you need to know about adding permissions and adding groups, also removing them. Thank you so much for watching, please leave a like and comment down below if there's anything you need to know, want to know, and if there's any questions, I'll try to answer them, try to make a video on whatever plugin you want to know anything about as soon as possible. Please subscribe if you want to see more, I'll see you on the next one, goodbye.